Hello, everybody, <clears throat> and welcome to uh, the series on web, your website. <clears throat> this is called Website Setting Up uh, Files and Folders on Your Local Drive. Uh, real quickly, it's very easy to uh, create a website, actually, because it all is actually done locally on your computer is the, probably the most efficient way to design and start one. But the first thing we need to do is we need to set up some files and file structures. And this is all do, done doing the operating system. I'm currently on my laptop again, and this is my, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, this is the, uh, uh, the, the desktop, and we're going to be working with the operating system instructions. First, I need you to do is after you've installed your, hard, uh, your memory stick or uh, hard drive, whatever you're using, uh, let's open that. And right here, what I want us to do is I want us to create a new folder here, and we're going to call it public underscore HTML. Uh, there are a couple ways we can do this. We can go to File under the Finder and say New Folder, or you can right-click and select a new folder or new directory. I would like you to name this. Now, please watch carefully. This is going to be called public, all lowercase, underscore HTML. I am doing this because this folder is actually the folder we will find on the server uh, location where your website will be hosted. And uh, everything has to go into, into this folder. So we will create a mock or fake one right here and create our whole website under here. And we can run it locally. If it works here, then we'll just copy it up. After you've done that, make sure you click off of it and make sure it takes. Now inside, because some of you all have two classes, or more classes here, we need to click in here, and this time I'm going to do the control right click and create a new folder, and I'm going to call this one Flash, because since this is the Flash class, I'm going to create one folder called Flash. We need to have that there. I'm also, we're going to have another uh, folder created, I'll do this the other way again, and this would be... Uh, web publishing I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rename since I'm in flash here there are a couple of ways you can do this again is that you can go to file get information after I've selected the flash folder I like to rename this to a lowercase f you come down to name and extensions here and eventually it'll open and you just come in here and change it. Alrighty, from here now, if you're, um, uh, let me back up a little bit here, uh, if your computer doesn't look like mine, or this part doesn't look like this, and it looks more like this, let me go back over here and find my public one again, you'll notice that I can change the view here, so it looks like folders and things in here. What you can do is this, this is an icon view. This is what's called a list view. And, uh, this is called um, the folder view, but broken out into columns. And this one is that really funky, neat looking one where you can kind of scroll through your, your, your things. Um, I'm, I'm gonna continue on with this so that we can see the hierarchy here of how it all comes together that actually here's the public folder. We've opened the public folder and we're looking inside and now we should have two folders, Flash and Web Publishing. If I double click on the Flash, you'll see that I have nothing here. Now what I'm gonna do here is I want us to start creating uh, five folders and these will be called Lessons. Uh, lesson one through five. Zero one. Go create another one. And this time again, I was gonna do the right click to show how it works. And this one's going to be lesson two. Oops. Oh, man, look at that. I made a mistake. I have now gone inside lesson one and put lesson two. Very simple to fix. Click on it and just drag it out. And now if I scroll back across, you'll see under the flash, see a little arrow pointing. I now have my two. This time i got to make sure I'm not highlighted any of these folders and I click down on the white part underneath the flash folder open flash folder <clears throat> pardon me again love these coals they're going around we'll create a new folder here this will be lesson 
03. Click off of it. Again, uh, show you the different way. Go back up here again to File, New. As long as you're in the Finder, this works. 04. And one more. We now have a file structure set up. Now, very quickly, to end this lesson and review, all we did was we went into our uh, memory device. We created a new folder called public underscore HTML. Inside there, we've made two different folders. Uh, inside the Flash folder, I now have five folders that are going to hold each of the lessons or practices you've already completed. We will, in the next uh, tutorial, start copying our files into here and show you how the setup is here. But this is the hierarchy and file structure that we will use both here locally on our computers to develop our website. And when we get, like I said, it's very simple. Once we get there, we use FileZilla. We just copy everything that's inside the public HTML up to our public underscore HTML folder on our website. And bang, it automatically should work. Well, hope you enjoyed this and we'll catch you next tutorial. Bye.